Hello and welcome! My name is Eva and today I'll test Lifo Cosmetics eyeshadows. I bought the newest palette, One Up palette, and I'm going to try Little Cosmetics formula for the first time. So it's my first time impression and first time impression of this brand. However, I've already tested lip glosses, but I am not sure which video we'll see first, so just mention it. By the way, it's super hot and if you're struggling to make your makeup looking good during such temperatures and I have a video with makeup that will survive heat and sweat and I even proved that on this video so if you're interested then check this video out. First of all, I have to admit that Lifo Cosmetics is a little bit out of my budget. <laughs> I just can't afford to build my own palette, even with sales, but this palette has pretty decent and fair price, in my opinion, for 12 shades, so I bought it and I will pleasure test these eyeshadows today. I've already swatched these eyeshadows, so you're going to see these swatches in the moment. Here we have 12 eyeshadows and 6 for player 2, 6 for player 1, and because I have two eyelids and here we have two sides, I'm going to test every single eyeshadow today just because, why not? Of course, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to use this palette in the future because I think that I will do some tutorial. These shades are really pretty and it's tempting to make more videos with this palette, but I hope that I will finish review of this palette today. I will review it fully. So, I'm going to apply my P. Louise base and I'm going to zoom you in and meanwhile we're going to see some close-ups and swatches. Okay, let's start. In this palette there's no matte beige, but this is not a problem. I have my own single matte beige shade to set my under brow area. Matte beige shade is not mandatory in any palette, but I just like to use it as my first step in every makeup. Of course, I don't have any plan for today's makeup. This will be big improvisation. I just want to play with some colors. So let's start with player one and I'm taking shade 8-bit. There's a little amount of dust in the palette, but not a big one. And let's start maybe from my outer corner. Okay, pigmentation is... Pretty nice. I know that some of these shades are UV shades, but unfortunately I don't have UV light, so I will not be able to show you that. Well, pigmentation so far, at least with this shade, is very much on point. I'm still going and this is only one application. Okay, let's add it more. It's pretty neon shade. It's not simple, juicy green. So far, I'm pretty much satisfied. Let's take another shade. Now I'm taking Insert Coin. I love such lime slash chartreuse shades. Let's apply it above my crease and blend also this green up. Yeah, that's very pretty color. This color isn't as much pigmented, but I don't blame it. 
chartreuse colors and also such light colors can be like that so this is acceptable i add more here and i will start to build this blending between green and chartreuse go back to green or rather go back to brush dirty with green i'm not adding more I'll go back to my matte beige to clean this area under my brow. Now I'll take some shimmers. Shade Avatar. This is nice sea green shade. I apply it on my almost whole eyelid for sure. This outer part a little bit middle. So there is no issue with applying with brush. As you can tell, and I can see that this shade can be built up, so it can be a little bit transparent if you would apply it very, very gently and in a very small amount. Now I'm taking split screen with the other side of the same brush and I'm applying this shade in the inner part of my makeup. Oh, this shade is very pretty. They look like mm, a little... how to call it? They look like a very rich pair. So the split screen is a little bit greenish, although in the pan looks more like yellow shade. But I think it's definitely more greenish on eyelid. Now I'm taking shade Final Boss and I'll apply it on my lower eyelid. Oh yes, this shade is very stunning. It has some bluish particles, so it appears a little bit more blue than green. It's really nice. Now I'm going back to green to cover the edges between shimmers and matte shades. Okay, this green is really nicely pigmented. Covers these shimmers like crazy, that's really nice. And the last shade on the player one side power up let's make my outer corner a little bit more dark it's not that it's not pigmented i'm just afraid a little bit of it <laughs> i don't want to make my makeup suddenly super dark maybe i change my brush and let's see now oh Okay, so it can be built up on other shades, that's a great sign. I have to say that I am super satisfied with this dark shade. Like, really super satisfied. It's pretty shade, that's the first thing. It looks almost like black, so it looks almost like I used black, but I used a very dark a green shade. Of course I'm going to clean up this fallout and a little bit correct this edge later, but now I'm going to apply my P. Louise base on my other eye and take care of player two side because here we have some, let's say, more fun and more difficult shades like for example purple. Of course I start the same way, so with my matte beige under my brow and I'll try to do similar makeup, but just using different shades. So I'm taking shade joystick. With actually the same brush I used for the green shade, but I cleaned it up. Oh, that's the pigmentation I like, especially with purples. Yeah, give me that royal purple it's definitely more cool toned purple because the more i'm blending it the more it turns into a little bit indigo shade not into pink shade so it's more violet than purple actually it's beautiful shade i'm just letting you know that it's not a warm toned purple it's more cool toned one which is good because cool toned purple aren't that popular so it's nice to see one in the palette now I'm taking shade combo and let's blend this purple with this pink so I'm going to do just the same as I did with lime shade this is nice pink hot pink 
Not my favorite color though, but for colorful makeup, perfect. Okay, here this blending between this purple and pink, I think it's a little bit easier than with this green and lime. Of course, to tell you more, I would have to test this palette more. Like one video sometimes isn't enough, although I'm using every single shade. So in such videos I can tell you for sure more or less how the blending feels like, the colors, is there any patchiness. But sometimes it's really hard to really say if something blends well or not. And especially different hmm, combos. <laughs> That's, that was a pan, you know, because this pink is shade that is called combo, uh, whatever. This blending between this purple and this pink is pretty nice, but I can feel that this purple is starting to disappear a little bit. Maybe it's the fault of my left eyelid on my left eyelid. Sometimes it happens, so right now I wouldn't take it seriously. And again I'm going back to my matte beige to clean my underbrow area. And now let's take some shimmers. I'm taking shade High Score, which is a little bit bluish shade, bluish greenish. This shade is similar to this from the other side, so you need to build it up to get the highest pigmentation, otherwise it will be a little bit transparent. Which, you know, has its pros and cons. And on the other side of my brush I'm taking shade Game Over. Game Over in such a cheerful color. Have you ever played The Binding of Isaac? Or Cuphead? Or The Necrodancer? Game Over isn't such a cheerful thing. <laughs> Definitely duochrome. Definitely. Well, most of these shades I feel like they are duochrome, more or less, but this one is like the most obvious one, because on eyelid it looks almost like gold, and definitely I know that I'm applying pink. <laughs> okay, let's cover the edge with the purple. Oh yes, the pigmentation. Welcome! And now I'm taking shade bonus and I apply it on my lower eyelid. I cleaned this brush that I used for the darkest green shade a little bit and I'm taking shade Hit Point, which is a very dark sea blue shade. This shade is for sure more dusty than this one. It doesn't matter though, like in general, but I'm just letting you know. Do I even applying it in my outer corner? I think so. This purple is already so dark that it's a little bit hard to see. It can be also the fault of oversaturation. This time. <laughs> With Glam Shop it wasn't that way. But here it can be oversaturation, so this purple is so nicely pigmented that adding to it other color can be a little problematic. No, but I can see that I'm adding this hit point eyeshadow here. It's just so dark and it really matched to this purple so well that I miss the point <laughs> when it blends. Nice. Turns into a little bit like navy blue shade very nicely. So the fact that this purple isn't warm toned is very good idea because it blends with this pink shade in a proper way but it also blends with this more greenish blue shade. So this is perfection, absolutely. This way I applied every single shade from this palette. I have already have some fats, so I'm going to, of course, clean my under eye area, finish my makeup, because luckily I think I will manage. It's not as hot today. Whew, 
finally. <laughs> so I finished my makeup and I will be right back with my opinion about this palette. Okay, let's talk about all the goods or the bads, or as I like to say, all the bads. Because something is good, but... So, we will talk about these bads also. First of all, on my lips I have the newest lip gloss by Lethal also. This shade is Duality. Of course, I have a lipstick underneath it, and I really like the shine. And this way I just gave you a little spoiler to my video with these lip glosses because I bought whole bundle. I just said that I like them. Anyway, let's go back to the palette because this is the topic of today's video. And let's start from the outside to the inside. So first of all, the packaging. It's very funky. I like it. And it's pretty thin as for the palette. Mm, but the thing that is this bat here is the placement of eyeshadows. And I'm not talking about the placement when we are talking about the color story itself, because this is very much on point. But let's be honest, if these eyeshadows would be placed on this palette in normal, proper way, then we will have more space for even another row, or this palette would be much smaller. And as much as I really like and enjoy the concept and I think it's funky, it's fun, it's uh, something different and original, I think that we have here a lot of waste space. And I just cannot not to mention it. I'm not even talking that this palette should have more shades because obviously this way it would be much more expensive, <laughs> but it could be just smaller. Still, we would have this concept of arcade game machine, but it just would be smaller. And I think that this concept won't be lost if these eyeshadows would be just in, you know, regular rows, not in such funky way. But this is very little minus. Other than that, the packaging is funky, it's fun, it's very unique and it's pretty, it's just pretty, it's something different. For sure it draws attention to itself. So now let's talk about the eyeshadows. First of all, I really enjoy the color story. It's something like rainbow, but not really. We don't have typical yellow here, but in some way we have, but not really, because this shade, although is yellow, it shifts and reflects green. I have it right now in my inner part of this makeup, and in my opinion it's more green than yellow so it's really interesting color story i really like this division between player one and player two because i think that these color stories by its own are also very pretty in general the placement of eyeshadows it's very very good and the color story is very much on point but let's talk now about the formula so maybe let's start from the matte shades, which uh, honestly I don't have anything bad to say about matte shades. Pigmentation is on point, some of them were more, some of them were a little bit less pigmented, but still it's everything normal, nothing unusual. I haven't noticed any patchiness, blending was okay, some of them however blends better than the other ones, it doesn't mean that I had a hard time to blend some shades, but let's say that blending some shades was more effortless than the other ones. Of course, big plus for harder shades, 
So these two and also this one, these eyeshadows a lot, a lot of times are patchy or not pigmented enough or pigmented enough but super patchy and here I don't see anything like this. This green in my outer corner is absolutely stunning. I love that I could build it up. I love that I could apply it less or more however I want to. And the left side, this um, I noticed that this uh, purple disappeared a little bit from my eyelid during blending, during doing my uh, makeup, but it wasn't patchiness itself. I think that it was just my left eyelid. So far, I wouldn't take it seriously. I think that I will play with this palette more on this channel. So of course, I'm going to check it again or I just check it again in my private chambers outside of YouTube. But uh, in general, as for the purple, very nice uh, formula, pigmentation, no patchiness. By the way, also gorgeous shade. As I mentioned during making this makeup, I think that the color story in this particular row is perfect because this shade is perfect, mm, this medium shade between these two. It can blend with this shade because it's purple, so purple with pink will blend without any issues. But in the same time, it's not warm tone purple, it's more cool toned purple, it blends into more bluish tones. And this shade here is something between blue, but has some vibes from the green side. They blended with each other very, very nicely and created this little navy blue shade. I am here for it. It's perfect. So. When we are talking about color wheel theory, this palette is very much on point. Let's talk now about the shimmers. Shimmers are pretty much interesting. This shade pink I have right now in my inner corner and it's more like gold. Uh, this shade I have on my lower eyelid and this shade is pretty much accurate as much as this shade. Now with these ones, these are okay, although I think that this shade could be a little bit darker, at least on eyelid, in pan is beautiful, on eyelid is a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit too light, but still very nice shade. And this yellow shade on eyelid, it's not yellow, it's more like a beautiful lime with gold shift. These eyeshadows are more like duochrome, and some of them are like very obvious duochromes, some a little bit less, still very nice formula. Of course, I could apply it with brush. The only, mm, it's not minus because it has some advantages and disadvantages is that these eyeshadows a little bit has to be built up, at least because I haven't tested them with my finger, but applied with brush. This first layer is a little bit transparent, which like I said, it can be plus, it can be minus. It can be minus when you are in a hurry, then finger is better if you want to build this pigmentation. But in the same time, if you want to, you can treat them a little bit as toppers and I bet that you can apply them on these matte shades and I will with pleasure test this. I am pretty satisfied with the formula and yes, I know that normal eyeshadows by Lethal are in bigger pans. These are smaller ones. But now let's talk about, let's say, the future. My future with this brand. As I mentioned, for me it's a little bit expensive brand and uh, this palette has acceptable price. Still it's not super cheap palette, like in general when we are talking about makeup market. Still I think this is okay price, is this decent price for this palette, for this formula. However, building your own palette uh, from the Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows, it's, for me at least, a little bit too pricey. And if Lethal Cosmetics will release palettes like these, complete palettes, in similar prices, then I think that in the future I will be very happy to review them too, to buy them and to test them for you. But unfortunately I can't afford like single eyeshadows. You know, I've tested other shades, 
from other brands. And let's say that when we are talking about matte shades, I know cheaper and in the same time a little bit better formula. The only thing is that the formula I'm thinking about right now, it's in like complete palettes, not like in the single eyeshadows. So I understand that prestige of building your palette from scratch must have its price. And of course, I respect that. And I think it's worth getting interested in this brand if you are looking for building your own palette, if you are looking for some single shades that you lack in your collection. And I think that especially these shimmers are very much worth to be interested in this brand. These shimmers are something different. They are not like pear, it's not like true metal shade. They have some particles, but in the same time, they are not such glittery as uh, some other shades that I right now have on my mind. Overall, I think that it's pretty nice formula. The pigmentation is very, very good no patchiness. The shimmers are very, very interesting and I am here for these shimmers. And also I really like lip glosses. Oops, spoiler again. <laughs> so overall, do I recommend this palette? I think I do because it's pretty good palette, especially when we are talking about no patchiness, but colors. Some of these colors are pretty hard colors. When you are talking about formulating them, and here I don't have any objections, so it's A+. Plus. What I think about Lethal Cosmetics, I just share with you. But to sum things up, I think it's pretty worth to get interested in it, especially shimmer shades, but also these lip glosses. Again, spoiler. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you've ever tried anything by Lethal and if so, if there is something you can recommend for me or for others that will read comment section, maybe single eyeshadows or maybe in general, like some kind of line of products from this brand. And yeah, that will be it for today's video. Let me know which side also you like more, player one or player two. And yes, that will be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I love you very, very much. Finally, it's not so hot today. And I see you soon. Bye.